In this TA Tech Tip, we'll be showing you the various geometry calibrations on your Discovery Hybrid Rheometer. Here we have a DHR instrument that has previously been calibrated for instrument inertia, and now we're going to calibrate using a Peltier plate and a 25mm stainless steel parallel plate. It is recommended to align the instrument in the home position before installing the geometry. To align, press and hold the lock button and wait for an audible beep. Notice the rotation of the motor to the home position. Now insert the geometry, making sure to align the engraved line on the geometry with that of the rheometer head. Now that the geometry is loaded, go to TRIO's home tab and verify the correct geometry is active. Then go to the geometry settings window and click on the calibrations tab. Expand the inertia calibration and press calibrate. Accept the calibration parameters and move on to the next calibration. Expand the friction calibration, press calibrate. Accept the friction calibration values and move on to rotational mapping. Most often standard mapping is performed using two iterations. There is an additional calibration that remains under the calibration window, gap temperature compensation. Gap temperature compensation is important to account for geometry expansion during temperature ramp or step experiments. This calibration should be performed with no sample, but under the exact conditions desired for the experiment. Prior to starting your experiment, make sure to equilibrate the temperature and zero the gap. We've just calibrated the geometry on the Discovery Hybrid Rheometer. Now you're ready to set up and perform your experiments. Please stay tuned for more TA Tech Tips.